Hi makers, thank you for helping me make these masks. So here's how you're gonna do it. You're gonna start with a regular Hanes extra large t-shirt. First, you need to shrink it. You can do that by two methods, one of two methods. You can boil it and line dry it, boil for 10 minutes and line dry, or you can wash in hot and dry on the hot setting on your dryer. Don't use any detergent. This is just to shrink the fibers as much as possible. When you're constructing this mask, you need to notice the grain of the fabric. The grain of the fabric goes vertical when you're wearing the garment. So this would be a vertical grain and this would be a horizontal grain. We'll get to that in a, in a minute. The first thing you're gonna do is cut the collar and sleeves off your t-shirt so that it looks like this. Okay, then you're going to cut up the side where there would be like a seam. There are no seams on these t-shirts. They are ring spun, but you're gonna cut up one side and you're, cut, you're gonna cut both shoulder seams just across them in order to create a big piece of fabric. Let me show you what that looks like. So that is gonna look like this. So now you have a big open piece of fabric that used to be a t-shirt. Out of this t-shirt, you are going to cut one large rectangle and eight squares. The large rectangle is going to be 30 inches wide by 15 inches tall. It's important to cut it this way on the fabric because this is the stretchier plane of the fabric and when the mask goes on your face, you want it to be the stretchiest type of fabric going around the head, okay? So cut, your, cut it 30 inches wide here and 15 tall. Then out of the remainder of the fabric, cut eight squares that are seven inches by seven inches. So you'll end up with this. Here's your rectangle. And here are your squares. Then you're gonna, this is where the grain comes in. You're gonna lay down your eight squares, two of them with a vertical grain, and then the next two with a horizontal grain, then two more vertical, then two more horizontal. So I've already laid them out like that. Let me grab two. You're gonna place them in the center of the bottom of the rectangle. Then here's two that have a horizontal grain. Then two with a vertical grain. Then the last two with a horizontal grain. Then you just take some pins and you pin it in place so that you can stitch it on your machine. You're just gonna use a regular straight stitch. You don't need to use a zigzag or anything like that. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just stitch around the four sides of the squares. So that's gonna look like this. So now the filtering pads are stitched on right in the center. And now you're gonna get a piece of wire. This is not the correct wire. Ryan Beyer currently has the correct wire. It's made out of aluminum, it's thicker than this. It's gonna be three and a half inches long. It's gonna have little folded ends to make the ends nice and soft. You're gonna stick that right in the center of the top here. And you're gonna start rolling this top bit of fabric over and over and over again, down until it meets the filtering pads, okay? Then you can pin this in place on either side of the wire. And then you're gonna stitch around the piece of wire. The wire is going to set on the nose and be a bendable stiff piece. So once you've stitched around the nose piece, it's going to look like this. So now you can see my stitching around the nose piece and around the filtering pads. Now you're gonna make some cuts for the straps. 
Measuring from the bottom, you're going to cut at the four inch mark and at the six and a half inch mark. And on this side also at the four inch mark and at the six and a half inch mark. And that's gonna end up making three straps. It's gonna look like this. Okay. And then when the wearer puts it on, the metal piece of wire goes against the nose. And then this strap ties beneath the hairline. Then you take the bottom strap and you wrap it under the chin and you tie at the crown of the head. Then you take the third straps and you wrap them back and you tie just above the first strap. And there you have your mask. Thanks guys.